Hi, everybody. We have a treat in store for you. This is the Urban Pioneers concert, and it's the only one there will ever be. We'd like to welcome all the geezers who were around here in the late 1950s and 60s. And the younger generation, too, uh, all of you under 55. <laughs> the late 50s and the early 60s were an amazing time. Uh, they were an amazing time throughout the country, and they were an amazing time in Salt Lake City, Utah. Behind the, the uh, facade of the Cold War and nuclear testing and massive industrialization, there was a healthy underground, and we're here to honor that underground tonight. The center of that underground, the folk music underground in Salt Lake, were Rosalie Sorrells and her then-husband Jim, and Bruce Utah Phillips, and they're both here with us tonight, Rosalie and Utah, and they'll be performing after the intermission. But they were a tremendous influence on so many young musicians here in town. And we're going to start with a group that started out as three high school kids at East High and Olympus High. Later on, uh, two of them with a lot of their friends formed a group called the Deseret String Band, which performed all over the state, all over the West, all over the world, really, all through the 70s and 80s and 90s, performing the the music of the West and of the Mormon pioneers and of the cowboys and miners. But before the Deseret String Band, those three kids from the high schools, Hal Cannon, Tom Carter, Chris Montague, Uncle Lumpy. Thank you, thank you very much. It's great to be here. We're the youngest ones. We were, <laughs> we were the twerps, uh, barely tolerated by uh, 25 and 30-year-old teachers of ours. And uh, 
they tolerated us because we paid them to take lessons and we hung out with them. Uh, we're going to do a song right now uh, called uh, Giddy Up Napoleon. We loved old time music and um, there was lots of different strains of folk music back in the mid 60s when we got very involved in this. There was sort of a, a cult of bluegrass and a cult of ballad singing and blues and all sorts of things and we, we started out in the bluegrass area and then a group called the New Lost City Ramblers came to town and we fell in love with the old time sound from the south and that's what we got into. And we used to hang out at a, a wonderful haberdashery downtown, B.W. Cummings uh, men's store and people would play bluegrass and old time music and that's where we cut our teeth on this. So we'll play this old time song for you now from Gid Tanner and the Skelet Liquors called Giddy Up Napoleon. Well, I run the old mill over there to Ruben Mill. My name is Joshua Ebenezer Fry. I know a thing or two, you can bet your boots and don't catch me on the dog slide. Well, once I met a buckle man, always got the best of them. Once I met a couple on the bus. We're going to do a song now that uh, was our big hit when we were juniors in high school. Uh, I think we played this at the Olympus High uh, Junior Prom Assembly, maybe? Not sure. Can't remember. Um, and it's called All Around the Mountain and It Was So Cold. All around the mountain and it was so cold, honey. 
one of these days and it won't be long, honey. One of these days and it won't be long, hey, hey. One of these days and it won't be long, call my name and I'll be gone, With a doll in my hand, honey. Standing on a corner with a doll in my hand, hey, hey. Standing on a corner with a doll in my hand, looking for a woman that's got no man, with an old version of a fiddle tune called Patty on the Turnpike, and we're going to dedicate it to uh, one of our mentors, uh, Mr. Bruce Cummings. Thank you very much from Uncle Uppy! It's great to see that they haven't lost their chops. Uh, about the same time that Uncle Lumpy was uh, starting out in the mid-60s, there was a band called the Salt City Bluegrass Boys. Don't you love these names? And uh, they were composed of uh, Bruce Cummings, who um, the last song was dedicated to. Bruce, I know you're out there someplace. And uh, Byron Davis and Mac Lagleby and um, who am I leaving out? Peter, Net <laughs> Peter Netka. Uh, recently, uh, Peter and Mac uh, joined up with Gloria Rowland to form the Rosewood Trio. This is the first time that Peter and Mac have played together since 1968. <laughs> They're going to start with Deep River Blues.
Give me back my old boat. I'm going to sail if you'll float, yeah. I got this deep river blues. I'm going back to Muscle Shoals. The times are better than I'm told, yeah. I got this deep river blues. You know, uh, in the 60s, we used to say, power to the people. And now we say, gray power. <laughs> gray power. Hello, all you fogies out there. You know, uh, they call this the uh, Urban Pioneers, but I think it should have been called the Codger Reunion. And I love it. Let's play another one. We're going to do Banks of the Ohio. Down beside 
Thank you very much. It's a real pleasure to be here amongst all of you, uh, some of which uh, I know and some of which I probably owe money to. But uh, in any case, thanks much for coming. We'll close our set with a nice little number called the Bedbug Rag. The Rosewood Trio. Our next performer uh, was playing about the same time as all these other folks, mid-60s. Uh, and she is in the, in the sweepstakes for the, for the Ramblin' Gamblin' Award, the most traveled folk singer from the state of Utah. She's right up there with Utah and Rosalie, I think. Uh, Heather Stewart Durrell uh, spent about 20 years in Europe playing and singing in pubs and coffee houses in the Paris metro on street corners, busking for a living. 
she came back to Utah a few years back. She's now an educational administrator. Well, we all have to do something. But Heather Stewart Durrell. Thank you. It's lovely to see you. Um, well, back in 1970 or 71, President Nixon bombed Cambodia, and uh, a lot of us left the country for a while. And uh, as uh, Dave said, I left for 18 years, and I lived in France and England and Scotland and Wales. But I'd come back to visit my parents once in a while, and I came back in 1974 with a little baby and a husband. <laughs> and uh, Rosalie Sorrells was in town at that time, and she was playing a concert up at the University of Utah, so I left little Justin with his grandmother and went up to the U to hear Rosalie. And uh, she was in the middle of some kind of a story, and she was saying, well, I don't know, maybe my diaphragm had a hole in it. <laughs> and someone from the audience called out, well, crochet a new one. <laughs> anyway, that night, uh, Rosalie sang this song, and it just blew me away, and I hope you like it too. It's called, It's a Long Way from Salt Lake to Denver, and it's by Utah Phillips. It's a long way from Salt Lake to Denver, riding on the DNRG. The moonlight catches the river below and lights up the rocks and the trees. You follow the white Colorado till it narrows down into a stream. The engine playing a soft lullaby as you're rolling along in a dream. Rock me to sleep on your bosom. Hold me close to your breast. Don't leave me alone on these cold city streets, but find me a track headed west. I'm tired of your big operators. Tired of your music machine. I'm tired of playing for nickels and dimes, and the times are always so lean. It's a long way from no place to somewhere, bumming all the good years away. Tonight I'm feeling so restless and blue, maybe I'll find it someday. Rock me to sleep on your bosom. Hold me close to your breast. Don't leave me alone on these cold city streets, but find me a track headed west. I'm tired of your big operators, tired of your music machine. I'm tired of playing for nickels and dimes, and the times are always so lean. It's a long way from no place to somewhere bumming all the good years away tonight i'm feeling so restless and blue maybe i'll find it one day someday I had the good fortune to grow up in a very special neighborhood, and we had many musical people around. Rosalie lived on the corner from uh, on P Street and 2nd Ave. And we had another neighbor that uh, lived to the west, whose name was Grace McGrath. And she taught me a version of John Hardy in uh, 1968. Uh, many of you may remember uh, Grace McGrath and her husband, Byron, who played Macbeth in the play box at the University of Utah in uh, 1958. Um, and uh, Grace uh, sung the song without any accompaniment, and so I'm going to do that too. <clears throat> John Hardy's father was standing around. Say, John, what have you done? 
I've killed me a man for 50 cents. Today I'm a gonna to be hung, hung, hung. Today I'm a gonna to be hung. John Hardy's father went pale with shock. Oh God, what have I done? He's killed him a man for 50 cents. And today he's a gonna to be hung, hung, hung. My son is a gonna to be hung. John Hardy's mother, that's me, that's me. I heard the whole damn thing. I stood there as if I was carved from stone. Today and forever I'm alone, alone. Today and forever I'm alone. John Hardy hanged so young, my son, not even 21. He killed him a man for 50 cents. Today he was actually hung, hung, hung. My son, he was actually hung. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'd like to sing for you a song called uh, Jesse's Corrido. It's by uh, Utah Phillips, probably the first protest song I ever heard. And in uh, planning for the song, I had to research what corrido was. So I looked on the internet and found out what it was. And it means uh, a ballad, and it means a, a Spanish ballad. This was brought over from uh, Spain in about uh, the 1700s, and it's still a form that's used in Southwest uh, United States. Bruce wrote this song for a 16-year-old Hispanic boy called Jesse Garcia, who was convicted of a very heinous crime and was sentenced to be executed out of the point of the mountain. And the way I heard the story was that Bruce went out and talked with Jesse the, the eve of his execution. And this is the song that he came away with. On the corners together you'll find us by the lampposts at night we'll be there our spirits like smoke that blows through the night restless and going nowhere trouble is all we can offer you trouble is all we have known our lives are like water that flows through our hands leaving us unloved and alone. Our fathers, they say, were just like us. Our children will be just the same. Hair like black leather and skin brown as wood, bearing a low Spanish name. Remember our mothers who gave us our lives like grass in the spring of their years. They've left us behind with hearts light as wine, their breasts undissolved in our tears. Oh, the things that I do are all very bad things. I do them and then don't know why. You hold up your sons with their blue or brown eyes, and you tell me they're better than I. My friends, they too all despise me. I do all the wrong they have planned. And all that I have for the years of my life is a cross that I've carved on my hand. They put me in jail behind iron bars. You'll find me with blood on my hands. And tomorrow I'll stand up in front of the guns and I'll give you the life you demand. But tonight as you sit at your table with your wife and your children close by, recall this corrido my red blood has made. And now, mi amigos, goodbye.
Thank you. My last song will be uh, a song called uh, mm. I Think of You. This is a song by Bruce Phillips, and I've got some fine people to join me for this last song. Thank you. to see the wildflowers blooming and wonder why they seem so plain the springtime rides all the brown hills over and young birds sing in a summer rain I think of you as the night goes by you're on my mind time you're gone, I think of you. And when I hear has turned to sunlight, and the dust clouds stand in a summer sky, I'll number all the climbing roses and look to see the milkweed fly. I think of you when the night goes by. You're on my mind the whole day through. Far away in a lonesome city. All the time you're gone, I think of you. And when I hear that soft wind moaning, like an angel voice from a far off shore. The days slip by like light snow falling or dry brown leaves blown by my door. I, I think of you when the night goes by. You're on my mind the whole day through. Oh, All the time you're gone, I think of you. Holly and the Valley Boys. You can judge for yourselves the effect that this group of musicians has had on the musical culture of Salt Lake City by the fact that most of us left town. <laughs> we did, we did, yeah. <laughs> Think about it. Every time someone was born, someone left town. This is a song I made up hitchhiking through West Virginia in 1959. Away 
into some crowded city in a northern factory town you'll find me there though i leave my heart behind i will never change my mind for this troubled life is more than i can bear but the green rolling hills of west virginia are the nearest place to heaven that i know though the times are sad and drear and i cannot linger here they will keep me and never let me go put it, we prefer a rude vigor to a polished banality. <laughs> My guitar playing has sadly deteriorated from the time when I was able to finger pick the Dupuytren contracture. Remember Robert Johnson, the great black sure. blues singer? They said, went to the crossroads to sold his soul to the devil. That to, guy, uh, yep. Yeah, yep. yeah, they did it. I went to the crossroads to try to <laughs> and sold my soul. <laughs> then it showed up on eBay. <laughs> 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 well, let's sing this one here. This is a song I made up walking through a graveyard, or well, being taken through the graveyard in Schofield, Utah, many years ago uh, by the sexton. And he described to me uh, the Schofield mine disaster of 1900 and uh, said when the train came to take the coffins away that it was the longest and lonesomest train he'd ever seen. So as I was leaving down there with the songs I made. Now let's see, I gotta get the tone. You got me singing this an octave higher than I normally sing. So it's good know, for it. Blow my belly button out right now. Don't you see that funeral train? But don't you see that funeral train a rolling down that lonesome valley? It's a long when I sing, May the first but bright and clear, a 1900 was the year. A great explosion rocked our town, a while a man was underground. Don't you see that funeral train? Oh, don't you see that funeral train? Rolling down that lonesome valley, it's the longest one I've seen. When we gathered at the slide, we thought that just a few had died. Fought our way in past the mine head, carried out 200 dead. Don't you see that funeral train? And don't you see that funeral train rolling down that lonesome valley? It's the longest one I've seen. we 
when we brought them to the light it was a black and awful sight in one family there was nine lost inside that burning mine don't you see that funeral train and don't you see that funeral train rolling down that lonesome valley it's the longest one i've seen a miner's life is hard i know his world is dark and far below while he starves and goes in rags he's cheaper than the coal he did and don't you see that funeral train don't you see that funeral train rolling down that lonesome valley this the longest one i see God, well, you know, we hadn't seen each other really for 40 years until yesterday. At least I hadn't seen Dave um, and sat down to try to see if we remembered any of these songs. And <laughs> it's doing okay. <laughs> Is that third time through now? <laughs> yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Well, now, and this isn't the auto harp, you, your normal auto harp. A, a bit, my, my normal auto harp is dead. It, it uh, bought the whole farm. I'm yeah, sorry to hear so, that. Yeah. yeah, this is a borrowed auto harp, and I'm grateful for that. Is this the banjo that you, that's not the banjo you used to play with, is it? No, no, this is a, a new Ibiki. Yeah. Well, this is my old guitar. <laughs> that's right, my own half of that. This guitar was handed down to me by my grandfather. Yeah, right. Unfortunately, he was still on the ladder when the cops came. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to sing about. Let's sing. We'll sing one more, and we've got to advance the program here. Uh, you had the art portion of the program is to come. This is the down home crash part. Uh, this song is about Amelia Earhart's last flight, Red River Dave McHenry. It's a song about death. During the folk music revival in the 1960s, folk singers sang a lot about death. We sang a lot about death, didn't we? And, and that's because, well, we were younger then, and it didn't seem quite so imminent. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> I love the pleasure of your company. <laughs> a ship out o'er the ocean, just a speck against the sky. A million heart flying that sad day. With a partner, Captain Noonan, on the 2nd of July. Her plane fell in the ocean far away. There's a beautiful, beautiful field Far away in land that is fair Yes, it's fair Happy landing to you, Amelia Earhart Farewell, First Lady of the Air Signal weak, but still her voice was brave. In shark infested waters, the flame went down that day. In the blue Pacific, to a watery grave. There's a beautiful, beautiful field far away in land that is fair. Happy landing to you, Amelia Earhart. Farewell, First Lady of it's white trash. Now you have heard the story of this awful tragedy. 
We prayed that she might fly home safe again. In years to come, though others blaze a trail across the sea, we'll never forget Amelia and her plane. There's a beautiful, beautiful field far away in a land let it fair, yes, it's fair. Happy landing to you, Amelia Earhart. Farewell, first lady of the air. Back in the mid-60s, there was a young English professor at the University of Utah named Barry Tolkien. And Barry had come from western Massachusetts originally where he, his family were ballad singers. They sang ballads of the sea and ballads of the woods. And Barry found his way to Utah and taught here for a couple of years, then went off to a distinguished career at the University of Oregon. Then in 1985, he returned to Utah to direct the folklore program at Utah State University in Logan. He's one of the most respected uh, folklorists in the country. He's done research with Japanese people, with the Navajo people, but he still remembers the ballads that he grew up with. At one time, he had memorized 800 songs. He told me backstage. Uh, Barry suffered a stroke in five years ago and uh, can't play guitar anymore, but he still knows a lot of those songs. Let's welcome Barry Tolkien. There's a lot of uh, talk backstage and sh shortening the uh, songs, so I'm going to just sing three, uh, three verses instead of 31, okay? <laughs> These are the most important ones. <laughs> Down in a willow garden Where me and my love did meet There we sat a cordon My love fell off to sleep I had a bottle of burgundy wine That my true love did not know and so I murdered that dear little girl down on the banks below. I stabbed her with a dagger, which was a bloody knife. I threw her into the river, which was an awful sight. My father, he had told me that money would set me free if I would murder that dear little girl whose name were Rose Connolly. Now he sits in his cabin door, a wipe in his tear stained eye, a looking at his own dear son upon a scaffold high. My race is run beneath the sun, and hell is waiting for me. For I did murder that dear little girl, whose name were Rose Connolly. The oldest continuously performing group in the state of Utah have been together, most of them, since 1963, and they're about to celebrate their 44th anniversary as a performing group. The Stormy Mountain Boy.
walking the dog and a painting the town. Such an easy life I never knew until the day that I left you. I'm a carefree lad, I've seen the light. I'm walking the dog all day and all night. Track mine, so I've been told I'm fancy free. No worries, no how. I'm walking the dog all the long, all the long. Such an easy life I never knew until the day that I left you. I'm a carefree lad, I've seen the light. I'm walking the dog. Such an easy life I never knew Until the day that I left I'm a carefree lad, I've seen the light, I'm walking the dog all day and all night. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are the Stormy Mountain Boys. Let me introduce you to everybody real quickly so you know who they are. Over here on the far side, whoops, he just moved right over here. Right here in the middle on the guitar, originally hails from Deep Run, North Carolina. Would you give him a big hand? Yeah. Carrie Howard. <laughs> on the far side, on the dobro, plays dobro and sings tenor and is just a great musician. Would you welcome, put your hands together for Ryan Orr, please. <laughs> Back here on the bass fiddle, the guy who keeps this thing all together in one piece. Would you put your hands together for Tim Morrison, please? And over here on the five-string banjo, would you put your hands together for Art Hansen? Thank you. My name's Brent Bradford, and we're just glad to be here tonight. We're going to do a gospel. Thank you. We're going to do a little gospel tune for you. Now we're going to get Carrie to come up and sing it. One called Cole Jordan. Take Jesus as your daily guide. Though you may feel pure and saintly without him walking by your side. But when you come to make the cross, ride the in and out of pilgrim way. If you ever will need our Savior, you'll surely need him on that day. Now look at that cold, cold Jordan. Look at its deep, deep water. Look at that wide, wide river. Oh, hear the mighty billows roll. You better take Jesus, Jesus with you. Your true, true companion. companion, and I'm sure, sure without him that you never will make it alone. It's coming in the by and by. We'll see our Lord descending in glory from on high. So let us keep in touch with Jesus and his precious love about. That may be ever found ready when he calls over Jordan's time. Now look at that cold, cold Jordan. Jordan. Look at its deep, deep water. Look at that wide, wide river. Oh, hear the mighty billows, the billows roll. You better take Jesus, Jesus with you. 
And I'm sure, sure without, without him, him that you never will make it over. Oh, 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 what you gonna do? Oh, oh, what you gonna say? say? Oh, how oh, how you gonna feel when you come to the end of the way? Now look at that cold, cold Georgia. Look at its deep, deep water. Look at that wide, wide river. Oh, hear the mighty billows roll. Oh, you better take me. And I'm sure, sure without, without him, him that you never will make it at all. Tomorrow it's Pennsylvania and it's off to the city of sin. I'll hold to your love and to your memory until. Jack! 
can hold you forever. Somehow we race on. Thank you very much. You're very kind. We appreciate that. We are just thrilled to death to be a part of this show tonight. And uh, we were so grateful when uh, we got the phone call and asked us to come and, and join. And we're grateful to you for being here tonight and joining us in this uh, special occasion. It's been just really great to see a lot of old friends and get a chance to, to play music together and to play for you. So thank you for coming and uh, thanks for letting us entertain you tonight. We're going to close our part of the show out with an old time tune, one called Shady Crew. Shade grow my little miss, shade grow my darling, shade grow my little miss, go back to Harlan. Now every time I go that road is always dark and cloudy. Every time I see that girl, always tell her how to shade go my little miss, shade go my darling, shade go my little miss, go back to Harlem. Shady Grove, she's standing by the door, shoes and stockings in her hand, a little bare feet on the floor. Shady Grove, my little miss, Shady Grove, my darling, Shady Grove, my little miss, go back to Harlem. Now if you see my little miss, if you see my darling, if you see my little miss, you tell her I'm going to Ireland. Shady go my little miss, shady go my darling, shady go my little miss, go back to Harlem. Shady Grove, my darling, Shady Grove, my little miss, come back to Harlem.